guys, um, I would like to talk today over uh, using my materials. I uh, just got a holiday and um, I really love you all and I really love all your questions. But it's, it's continuing the same questions and um, I really don't mind answering it but because um, that's very uh, much uh, time chewing um, I think it's a better idea that I make a special video on which materials I use um, so uh, it's, uh, I, I hope you don't mind but I really think um, many of you would love to but normally I will um, tell you all the things I use when I do tutorials and I normally think that will do enough but for some reason many of you still ask me um, the same questions and I am going to do a little, well little, I hope a little, <laughs> a little material list uh, on which things I use. So um, let's start with the paper cutter. Um, I did a very big review on paper cutters and at this point I use my Fiskars um, Precision and um, when I did that review um, the mine, my, my first one was not cutting correctly so I sent it back and I uh, well, the store was not very generous and not very thoughtful, but I sent an email to Fiskars and Fiskars solved it for me. They immediately sent me a new one and since I got this new one, it just cuts like butter. And it still is. It's, it's months ago that I got the new one from Fiskars, not the store, but from Fiskars. And well, yeah, I think you just have to be lucky. And I really don't know why the first one did not cut well, but this one still does. And uh, I know from my friend Julie, she has the same one and she already has, uh, well, at the beginning she said it was perfect, but now it, it isn't. But she sent Fiskars also an email and she also gets a new one. So yeah, I really don't know why, uh, for some reason it's, 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 you just have to be lucky. And if you don't get lucky, just send Fiskars an email and they will solve it for you. And I see I forget pointing another uh, lamp. Uh, anyway, so yeah, for the moment I just use, really, I really like the Fiskars Precision. And, um, and I use it quite a lot and it's still cutting very, very well. And I really believe when it, for some reason, perhaps it, it doesn't. I think I will just email Fiskars and I really believe that Fiskars will resolve the problem because they insure you of a lifetime uh, blade. So okay, so that is my um, cutting uh, thing. But I also like the Dale, the Dale, the Dale, yeah, I don't know which brand but the Dale is really also very very good. And I think, I really think when this is not doing its job, then I will put my dollar on my table. Um, I just want to mention just one little thing about cutters. I also have this one. And this is the Tim Holtz Tonic. Tim Holtz from Tonic Studios. And this is really a very good one. It, it also is self sharpening and it can cut your A4 uh, side, your 8x8. Um, so that is really a, a good thing also for just little, little things. But the Fiskars also cut very little things. But I have this also by hand if I need uh, it real quick for just little things. So yeah. That's the two things, the two cutters I really love at this point. But the doll is also very good. Okay, next thing. Hello everyone, my holiday is still going on, but the sports for my kids are started today. So yeah, I had a little evening on my own, finally. <laughs> Well, um, I got a big order today and um, as you can see, 
that's lots and lots of paper but I use a lot so I have ordered normally a lot um, in once that's cheaper but um, many 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 of you ask me over and over again which black paper I use and that's okay guys that's really okay uh, you can't know from each other that one or two already asked that same question so that it's it's, it's really no big deal but I just want to make an extra video of it perhaps that will help you guys so um, I will dig in my order what I ordered today and I will explain a little more about it okay stay tuned okay let's start with the black I use this black well that's Claire Fontaine as you already noticed it and normally I use the 160 gram and I just love it I just really love it it's really smooth and yeah, the thickness is perfect and I just love it so you guys I use this paper the most the most of it um, yeah so Claire Fontaine 160 the 210 I believe is also good but I noticed when you fold it with your scoreboard it cracks a little so I will always use the 160 for all my base stuff with the black okay um, then let's put this away then I ordered this time and this was a little new for me um, this is the Claire Fontaine same as the black but then in 80 gram and this is new for me because um, I like to use some cream color for my photo mats I also use white but also sometimes the, 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 the collection needs a nice cream color that smooths things out I not always use white and then you don't have to use the 160 then a little thinner is, is, is just perfect so I ordered this one and I hope I think I yeah wait just one second because I want to announce the correct color so this is the crème color number 1871 yeah, I don't know but anyway this is the trophy A4 80 gram crème color and I really like the color it's not too dark and it's not too white I really like it so definitely nice to use for your photo mats um, because I was not sure I did order another one this one is a little darker did not like it that much but I am still going to use it of course but this is another brand this is false point and this is 120 and this was just to try out but anyway I, I think it's a little too dark but I still can use it so it's don't don't uh, throw away what I actually really 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 like is this one and this one I normally use for printing out and I really use the same thing the DCP Clairefontaine for all my printing like Victoria Designs or everything what I want to print I print with DCP and I saw that they also had a nice cream color let's see do they announce it the same way DCP ivory they call it the ivory color and this is really the color I'm looking for because let's see the tin one yes yeah, see the tin one well I have my all my ugly fingers on it but the tin paper the 81 the 80 gram one is still a little tint darker than this one and I like this but this I like more that's really a nice chic color 
But will I use it for photo frame? Yeah, I will. I, this is really so smooth. I really like this paper. And well, you also can use it for printing. And now I also can use it for the nice photo mess because I love this color. So keep in mind, this is my favorite color. So the DCP paper Clairefontaine Ivory 160. So I can use it for everyone. It's a good thickness for printing. And it's a good thickness for uh, photo mat. I could use a thinner one, but why not use the same gram for everything? Okay, then I ordered this time another color, the wet one. Ooh, what will I do with wet? <laughs> well, I have something in my mind. So, but anyway, then I just use the the exact same thing, Claire Fontaine Trophy 160. And this color is the cherry wet one. That is the darkest wet one. So they have so much colors. I don't know why I am really pronouncing this brand because I don't get paid with it, but I just wanted to know you. I should be. I should be sponsored by this one. So Claire Fontaine, send me a message. <laughs> and then for the last thing, um, This is not Claire Fontaine, but this was also a tryout because I also wanted to use some nice white. And I don't know, no, I don't think that this is the same. This is not. Um, is this? Is this Claire Fontaine? Yeah, oh yeah. They have a new, a new, um, how do you call this? A new image <laughs> it's still Claire Fontaine okay well I, because I was thinking I ordered only Claire Fontaine except for the ivory color oh right so yeah thank god <laughs> I was thinking I ordered the wrong brand but I didn't Whew. um so this is also the Claire Fontaine and this one I always use for printing for Victoria's design so this is white same as the ivory I showed you um in a minute also 160 for some uh, printing I use the 190 gram but the 160 I can use for everything so I will order normally the 160 so I can use it for everything so yeah I like it cool so that's what I wanted to show you so yeah I ordered a lot and um, so give me one just one second just one last time I use the Claire Fontaine trophy I believe everything is trophy but I'm not sure and they have so much colors I want to show you they have all these colors in a4 a3 a5 with 120 80 grams 160 210 they have it all so Yeah, and on, I can't tell you on which site they have it because I believe they do send worldwide, but I don't know for sure. But here in Holland there are a lot of websites that, where they have this one and I always check on which, uh, which site they have a good uh, discount. And for this time I did go for the Hildebrand. Hildebrand. There's no Hildebrand papier.nl. Well, I really want to show you. For the Dutch people, for the Dutch, it's really small. I guess it's www.hildebrandpapier.nl. So that is where I order this big order. Okay, so I hope everyone. Do now know what kind of black paper I use. Well, not only black, I use it for all kind of crafting and printing. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye. The next thing I want to share with you is glue. Um, yes, I use three different glues um, because I use this one, the clear glue, and uh, you can get this in uh, Europe 
uh, only in Europe. It's uh, I just got this uh, from the Action. It's a really cheap one, and um, it's just perfect for gluing big pages on another page. I just really like to use it for big, uh, yeah, big papers. So um, this really there's no bubbling, and well, if you live in Europe, I really can recommend this this uh, this glue, and it's really cheap. I believe it's. 70 or 80 cents but it's really good and I really love using it for big places okay then the art little glue glue is this one it's really really a good glue and it's a quick dry um, uh, it's I think it's, it's a bit expensive but I really like it and um, I got this since I am on a design team from Country Craft Creations and um, recently I recommend a website in Holland that they would apply this glue to their website so my Dutch followers can um, also get this glue at well I believe emmasworld.nl so check it out you can get this in Holland too um, so I really like this. It's, it's really you can even use it for putting on your embellishment, your flowers, anything. It it will dry really quick, and it's really a good glue. Um, I use this little button, uh, this little bottle, uh, all the times, and I have. Uh, that comes. You can buy an extra metal tip uh, on it so it's really gets you that fine thin line so I really like it so that's the art glitter glue but I also really like the glossy accents and uh, which brand it is let's see it's from Ranger 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 it's, it says Ranger. So it, it's, yeah, I have this one also in, um, um, well, this is another bottle I, I over, but the glue is really fantastic. This is the clear, the clear glossy. You can uh, make your glossy accents on some embellishments or even, even on paper. So it really pops up the shyness. But for using glue, this is really awesome. It dries real quick and um, let's say your um, metal embellishments and and yeah it's it just I really love it so it's a really good glue but also uh, for glossy accents so I can use it on both ways so these three are just my favorite glues um, but you can use any glue really you can use any glue so this is only getting in Europe and these two you can find on uh, on the internet so check uh, countercraftcreations.com I really really like this glue but you can find it on any website the art glitter glue and this from Ranger is also on the entire world you can find this glossy accents from Ranger okay next item Next item I want to talk about is um, the stuff I use for my um, backgrounds. And um, I use quite different uh, stuff. Um, so um, where do I start? Well, let's start about these. These are the original uh, bookbinders linen. And... Um, and I don't, I, someone sent me the name of it. Um, let's search for just a second. Then a question, a lot of questions on my black paper. And I have a cute video on it. And let's go see that video. Next thing I like to talk to you about is um, using my tool from getting off the tape. And um, first I did use a... Uh, a clear block it's just a tool normally for stamping for uh, putting your clear stamps on it and stamp so it's you can find them anywhere you, you don't have to use a, an expensive one but if you find one it's really handy so this one I had first but then I get a new stamp tool 
Uh, my mom just won't, uh, won't throw it away um, because she thought I would love to use it and I really do so it's a nice handle on it and this really is getting off my tape so it's also a stamping tool so okay and this is from Crea Motion but I really like these two for getting off my tape so that is what I use I use just acrylic block or a stamping tool well this is also a stamping tool but you know what I mean so this is what I use for tearing off my tape already on to the next one last thing I want to talk to you is my um, distress tool and um, let's where where do I start where do I start well um, you can make this norm I first started with this one and I still use these because I have two I have a brown and a black and I just really like these and these are from Wanger and yeah this is Tim Holtz but I think that's the same I believe but I really like these and they are going really well and you can remove this one because there is a um, thing on where you can remove it and uh, replace a new one on but my stepdad made this and it's just a simple wooden thing where normally birds are sitting on in their cage and he put um, a little cut in like this I don't know perhaps it's already there because it's a bird thing I really don't know but anyway there is a little opening in it and he just placed some uh, plastic thing in he cuts out in the shape of my makeup sponge so this is a cheap makeup sponge and I just glue it on with double sided tape and then I have my distress tool and many 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 of you have questions but this is how it works so it's homemade I can't give you a link because it's homemade and we like it I also have a brown and a black one I don't use many colors I really normally do use brown and black so I don't know where my black one is but where it is hello I think it's below but anyway so this and oh oh I want to show you real quick oh if I can't get it I want to <laughs> yeah here it is um <laughs> this one I made my own um, my, my mom uh, throws some things away from because she, she won't stamp that much because here was a stamping on it for, for the stamp but I peeled it off because I don't stamp that much and I put also a makeup sponge on it and I cut around so yeah this is also nice for distressing so yeah you can do this on your own you can make it but these I also still I still use these and I really like using it and this I also like. So that is my distress tools. Okay, do I have something else? Let's see. Yes, um, these are the things I use to peel off my double sided tape. And I use them also to make little holes in my papers. And I just love these ones. These are so darn cute. And this is what I use. These called, yeah, how you call this? A picker, a prime, prime. I really can't uh, know what the name it is, but they are just really handy. And I even have this one. This is from small to bigger to make your hole wider. So, yeah, really like. But you also can use this for your tape because my nails are too yeah, thick to pick up the tape. So, okay, that's what I use. Next thing, my scoreboard. I have this many many years and I uh, bought it. Why do I bought it? I bought it because, well, first thing, you can fold it smaller. So if I don't want to use all my space, I still can use it till 5 inches. So that's really awesome because many many times I only have to use it for making a um, flippity flop. So yeah really cute and I can cut right away hey, your holiday is also over 
Oh, it's loose. But anyway, let's get it back. Here we go. Um, so that is why I like it. It's a scoreboard and a cutting thing two in one. That's why I bought it and I still like it. Especially when I'm crafting, for example, outside or quick below on uh, my uh, in my uh, in my living room, and I just can take it real quick instead of my big Fiskars. So yeah, it's a really handy thing, and it even gets to the 12 inches. So that's really the only thing I do not like is that this fold line is getting at my five and a half inch. Uh, so in the nail of my five and a half inch, it does not um, um, score pretty, but then I move my papers. But it can be done uh, when I move this, but then it still is really loose but for that you can see that this is not very much been using okay, here we go so that is the thing I use and it also gets of course with the bone folder okay now these days I see that there is a white mint version I, always, I could only buy it for the color but anyway this is still in my possession and I just love it and I think I need to buy some new uh, bone folders because this is really getting um, off and off because all of the much scoring but anyway this is my scoring board but I also use sometimes this little one from Martha Stewart and this also gets a bone folder but I don't know where it is but and there is some envelope things on the background but for making envelopes I normally use my envelope punch card punch board so that is also really cute to use especially when there is also this uh, cutting thing that cuts these li this little shape and I do many things of it you can make ribbons of it you can use it as a well, there is also a corner point in it to make to round up your edges and I really love this uh, thing that also came with a bone folder to put in here I have that downstairs but anyway I really love this punch board also so yeah I really love these three and this is from Mark Stewart it's a little one um, don't know if they are making ones but that is and this is also for memory keepers so alrighty then the question on this material I use for completely covering up my covers first before I do the spine um, it's contact paper and um, if you peel this off of course then it's adhesive and I really like using this and um, yeah also this is just when I see it I grab it and use it so yeah I can't give you any link just go to your store I noticed that they had um, they have it um, pretty much all the time in building places um, where you if you are building a house then to use tools or anything to decorate your room with they have it because this material uh, you can get it in many designs um, and they use it quite a lot to decorate your drawer or your cabinet or anything uh, like that so that is just yeah they call it contact paper and I really like using it for the covers and instead of papers but okay so that is what I'm using for the covers there is also another way uh, if you don't can find this then you uh, and you find really good uh, duct tape then you also can use it 
and this one is really fine too because there are some little grooves in it but um, just clear black or white or any duct tape you will like uh, you can use it and I have some tutorials that I did use it so you know you can use this one and this one or you just can still you can use paper as many other crafters do but I really like adhesive for um, do my covers okay I also like to use seam binding and from the brand Hoch Hoch Snack <laughs> <Hoch Snug. laughs> Uh, I don't know how you call it, but that's the brand uh, I like to use. Um, H U G S N U G. So that is how it's spelled. Hoxnog. Hoxnog. <laughs> and I really like this brand because they they have a little shiny thing on after you uh, DIY colored your seam binding. And this is how I store it. If I have any left, but I really like it. So you can color it with distress ink and water, and then and then I also have a tutorial on it. So I really like using this seam binding. It's called uh, in in the U.S. I think, and it's very difficult to get here in Holland, but it's still uh, available. Okay. Corner punches. These are my favorite, uh, especially these two. These are for memory. We are memory keepers, and these two are my really, really, really big favorite ones. I bought them secondhand, but I know they are uh, still available on the web. Um, I guess there are new colors on it and different shapes for the corners, but these are really awesome. They are expensive. That's why I bought these secondhand, and they still are very, very good in use. And uh, okay, so that is what I use. And then I have this one from the X-Cut. It's a normally corner uh, punch. Really love to use it. I uh, use it many, many years. And this is a new one, and they have three different sizes for just a simple uh, corner punch. I really like it. I know. I believe memory keepers have this one too, but this is a non-brand mat, not a non. It's, it's not a brand. But anyway, these four I really like as my corner uh, corner uh, punches. Tape, double-sided tape. Uh, this I use sometimes when I want to do it quicker than peeling off uh, the tape. It's from Scotch. It's an advanced tape glider. Uh, dispenser, tape dispenser, you also can use it and um, you get these with it well this is not from Scotch, this is a cheaper brand um, so but I really recommend, re recommend the Scotch if you want to use it for a better gluing but sometimes I just use this so do it really quick for you guys on making the videos so I really like using this to make things faster and this is just my double sided tape it's also non brand and uh, this one is getting 15 meters on it I believe yep and I just really like it I got this in Holland and um, it's yeah I really think this is a very good one but anyway um, if you would like I can put a link on below because here I have a link for <laughs> Okay, next thing, scissors. I use uh, two sizes of Tim Holtz scissors, uh, thanks to Julie. I got these from Julie, thank you Julie. And uh, I really like these and well, the, uh, sometimes I have to clean them because they get sticky. Still, these get sticky, but I really like using them. Just use a baby wipe to clean them and then they are perfect to go. Okay, so yeah. Somebody says that, that you need uh, that I need the Fiskar scissors, but I don't know. I just haven't tried them yet. But anyway, I really like the Tim Holtz scissors. Rulers. I just love my ugly yellow pink one. Uh, I have this many many years, and you can see that it's really dirty. Uh, but I just love it because it has centimeters on. Uh, and they have uh, inches on it 
and I just love it and it's it's really ugly and filthy but I, if I see a new one I will buy a new one but I really like this one um, I also like this one and I, this is not from Tim Holtz but Tim Holtz have, has the same one with the marks the square ones on it but this doesn't have the inches this is only having the centimeters but I will use this also for cutting my material because here is a uh, metal thing in so I won't cut in my ruler and then this one is also a very nice little one to use and I saw this also on a fair and I just thought this would be very handy but for some reasons um, I don't like a clear uh, ruler to put my marks on um, on my paper because I don't see that very good when uh, for example if I put this on black then it's really hard to see uh, when I get for example to the 15 centimeters and make a mark um, that's why I really like this one because I easily can see and I well my eyes are not that bad but that's why I recommend a ruler that is not see-through but for cutting and for putting something white and the little square things on it then it's really cool so yeah I really like this tree using this tree I think I have said it all um, I'm looking around yeah sometimes you guys ask me what thing this is this is the thing what I use to cut circles and a circle cutter mini 400 made in Japan we really like it but anyway um, I just want to say that um, all my materials my sequins my flowers my brands my crystals um, just everything everything I have I um, collect I collect I collect and uh, put it away uh, so when I wanted to use I have it and uh, a little containers or little drawer containers in my uh, big drawers um, so yeah crafting is uh, getting another hobby too and if it's not a hobby um, and I don't know if this hobby is something for you because many many of you uh, ask for links where to get stuff same as I do but I just can't because I shop well, I shop a lot but not that lot well perhaps I do <laughs> but if I go shopping I always look around and if I see something that I like I buy so I think 90% for the embellishment things that I have I shop in my own uh, store so I can't give you a link where to get an, an, an uh, elastic uh, ribbon or uh, flowers from Prima Marketing or just uh, flowers from my local store or for a cheap store uh, sometimes you, you just yeah, you just see something and you just have to get it. So I just can't give you a link. So please, yeah, I hope I don't uh, be rude, but I just can't give you any links. Because I just have them, not for myself too. And if I run out, it's, it's a pity, then I just have to find something else instead. And uh, that's why I always sniff, 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 sniff around in every store I am. And my favorite stores are the Action and the Vibra and the Zeeman and the Solo stores and um, the Big Bazaar. And I love to go to fairs, to markets, to black markets, the bazaars. Yeah, and not that I am going to every day or every weekend. No, but when I do, I do big. <laughs> Sometimes uh, my husband. My husband says you are crazy you have enough oh yeah I have but when I get a good deal I got a good deal and I just have to buy it uh, and that's why I have a lot and I just use a lot so okay but um, I really think I have said it all yeah so 
Yeah, I hope you don't mind to making this video on the materials I use. So I just want to say, go sniff around and try to use your own stash and your own stuff. You don't have to use exactly the same things as I using. Just snooping around and get nice stuff. Okay, so hope you like this video and let's not spending more time and get on to my next project. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.